What is up everyone, this is Mo Crypto here, and today I'm going to show you how to put money and earn a lot of money in PancakeSwap pools. So let's get started. So PancakeSwap, it is a exchange per se where you can exchange certain tokens for certain other tokens. So mainly starting with BNB, you can use that and buy other crypto tokens such as Shiba Inu, SafeMoon, etc, etc. A lot of these cryptocurrencies that you've been hearing that have been making headlines like hundreds of thousands of APR increases or not APR, like percentage increases have been happening with these crypto tokens. And PancakeSwap is one of the platforms where you can actually do this on. There's other ones such as Uniswap, uh, SushiSwap, which are on the Ethereum smart chain, and PancakeSwap is the one on the Binance smart chain. Uh, hence why I stated off with BNB. Um, you can connect your wallets via MetaMask or other wallets as well to be able to essentially purchase these tokens and or coins and then kind of you be able to swap these tokens per se. Uh, so we're going to talk about pools and high level pools are essentially a place where you can stake your coins or put your certain types of tokens in them to earn basically interest on your money or essentially the coin itself depending on whatever you're staking in. Uh, as you can see, just stake some tokens to earn high APR, low risk skeptical on the low risk but we're not talking about the risk today <laughs> we're just talking about how to do this so what you want to do is you want to be able to first get some cake because uh all of the pools are done by almost i think they're all actually done by staking cake as you can see over here it always says stake cake uh cake is the coin or token that is you that is powering pancake swap that is this is their coin um it is a proof of stake coin um where essentially that means the more you stake it just like how ethereum is going to do now and other ones as well where you just stake it into a pool or with validators or whatnot i don't know exactly how cake one works you earn the coin from that uh from each block that basically kind of goes through uh, i think the the validity or the amount is supposed to decrease basically decreasing the supply kind of making it a little bit less inflationary uh and essentially theoretically increasing the price because theoretically that should happen <laughs> but we're not going to kind of go into those aspects we're going to talk about how to stake so like i said you need to have some cake so if you have cake already great if not you can get bnb buy it on binance or wherever applicable send it to your metamask wallet or other wallets connect it via pancake swap uh as i have and you can essentially stake cake to certain specific coins or tokens so you can stake it to pancake itself and let it auto stake which is normally what i do i'm kind of testing it out right now and there's other ones as well you can you can stake a cake for let's just say the hdp to htb token for 106 percent apr for a year and it kind of gives you a percentage breakout of how it actually works and it even tells you like all right every one thousand dollars of cake you basically put in in 30 365 days basically the year you'll earn 190 percent if it stays consistent as is basically meaning you'll have 260 26 000 htb coins i have no idea how much each coin is worth so i'm not even going to talk about that uh each pancake coin is worth 16 bucks just to give you a perspective on how that's working so to basically stake like as you can see i have about 100 bucks or it was 100 bucks the price dropped or about 5.9 cake staked and i have the auto cake on which is usually the best one it has the best percentage what it means is any single profit i make it literally stakes it back in which is pretty interesting as you can see in a matter of four days on a hundred dollars i made a dollar and 12 cents give or take i i think it's four to five days i feel like that's a pretty good percentage i'm doing pretty good again it is a hundred percent i do believe with the high apr this sh technically is high risk that's normally how finance works but again, crypto is weird. Everything's high risk in my eyes. I don't know what the low risk technically means. Now, if you are for the first time, or you're about to obviously stake something, the way it works is you go to the pools. Once you have the coin or the cake specific token uh, swapped and you have it in your wallet, what you're going to do is you're basically going to press the plus button here and you can stake whatever is in your current balance. So I actually converted some, I had some slight BNB left and I converted it to cake. I only got 0.13 cake. It's like three or four bucks. Uh, you, what you want to do is you want to press max and you want to confirm conf uh, press confirm you can get cake or you can try to get cake uh, obviously I can't even sadly do this because I don't have enough money to be able to do to do this what what let's see can I do 75 per I actually I might have to retry it can I do 75 percent uh, I think I have to reject that one first then I have to reject that. okay I don't think I have enough money to stake more cake sadly can I do 50 percent I don't know if I can do 
Uh, I just don't have enough funds. Uh, you can change around the gas price and the gas limit to make it work. I just don't have enough funds to do it. But basically, this is what would happen. You would press max. You would press confirm. It would essentially pop up over here in your MetaMask wallet or whatever your applicable wallet. You can see it's the Binance Smart Chain mainnet. Uh, you press confirm, and then you will see essentially it moving over from, like I said, the cake. It'll stake it out. Uh, there's obviously a fee getting charged to basically move these transactions. I just don't have enough to pay for said fees for it to continue staking. But just this was just to give you a perspective. This is how you stake it. You basically put your money in here. I would always prefer or recommend the auto cake. Do it there. Uh, the, if you're wondering why would I do the ones with the lower APR, the point is you'll get those coins. You have faith in said coins that it will eventually go up. So you're doing it more for the coin rather than the APR so you're basically getting those coins and you believe it's more valuable to get that obviously cake is giving the most uh, It's their swap. It's their exchange. They're trying to be more I guess with it So they're trying to kind of push it down that route and you can see again I have the auto one set up. I have there you can get information about whatever it is uh, You can look at the project site. You can look at the info site I believe you can even look at the chains information which might be the info site uh, to give you a perspective um you can see the liquidity, the volume, its market cap is over a billion dollars, a couple billion dollars, I believe. And again, like I said, it gives you a perspective. It's again, it's an interesting coin. I actually do like Pancake Swap. It is made by unknown developers, so that is a little bit I don't want to say shady. <laughs> it could be a good and a bad thing for your personal case on essentially how that works. Uh but again, overall, I think this is a cool way to kind of park your money. If you have like something you want to put in every month where you it's fine to lose per se with a theoretical possible big payoff this is something that might be worth it a lot of these exchange these deep because these are diving into the DeFi centralized world or decentralized world of finance essentially uh and you want to kind of actually look into this and maybe partake into it it's again it's an interesting concept you can put like it, it depends on you how much money you have you can put in and kind of go from there but regardless like i said for me it auto stakes my money literally just goes back in i started off with 5.88 cake i believe and i think yeah it says my recent cake profit was 0 0.07 i think this is correct uh, as you can see oh six six thirteen so it's been like six days um yeah it's been like six days uh so yeah uh like i said the profit was technically higher the price dropped when i was doing it was around 17.50 Obviously, if the price drops, your profit will look like it dropped. But again, you shouldn't look at it from a short-term perspective. It's more so, how much cake did you earn? And again, that's the whole point. If the cake is obviously compounding, is doing good, it keeps increasing, you're increasing your cakes, you're getting possible airdrops, you kind of keep going down that flow. Now, I do want to mention from SushiSwap and Uniswap, cake is the biggest one that gives the most percentages. I will make tutorials on those as well, how to use them, what theirs are, how theirs look like. Uh, but cake gives you the most profit, which makes me feel like they're the kind of shadiest just because of the amount of profit you can get uh to not put another perspective 79 million cake is staked you can do the math 79 million times 16 bucks shows you a good perspective of how much is staked i don't know if the manual 60 million is separate from the 79 million um but hey it is what it is uh so yeah just wanted to kind of give you a perspective and then here you go uh if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell if you have other content you would like me to make let me know in the comment section below and that more crypto out peace